On July 26, 2001, a six-year-old boy named Michael Colombini was killed by a metal oxygen cylinder that was brought into the MRI scan room. The cylinder was pulled into the MRI and hit the boy in the head. He died three days later from the result of that accident. In 1992, a 74-year-old woman hemorrhaged and died after an aneurysm clip in her brain shifted while she was on the table preparing for an MRI. This clip was thought to be an MRI compatible clip, but it turned out to be an older style ferromagnetic clip that aligned itself with a magnetic field and caused the hemorrhage in the brain. Last year, two people in Mumbai were pinned against an MRI scanner by an oxygen tank brought into the MRI scan room. The technologist and another hospital employee were pinned for nearly four hours. The staff member brought the oxygen tank into the room, not knowing anything about the room procedures. When the tank started to attract to the magnet, he held on to it. This pinned his arm and the technologist against the scanner. Both required surgery for their injuries. In Freiburg, Germany, a firefighter fighting a blaze in the hospital was pulled into the scanner's bore by his air tank when he entered the MRI scan room. Folded in half with his knees pressed to his chest, he nearly choked to death. In 2009, the Orlando Sentinel reported that a police officer from Jacksonville, Florida entered an MRI room with her mother and had her gun pulled to the MRI scanner. This trapped her hand between the weapon and the MRI scanner itself. The female officer was able to free herself, but the weapon remained affixed to the MRI machine for hours. A similar incident happened in 2006 when an off-duty officer went to an imaging center in upstate New York for a test. He was carrying a pistol which he took into the MRI room. Not surprisingly, the gun was promptly drawn into the imaging device as the officer attempted to put it on top of a cabinet and spontaneously discharged a bullet into the wall. Luckily, no one was hurt. What is an MRI? It's a high-powered magnet that uses liquid helium to cool copper windings that are electrically energized. This produces a very strong magnetic field. Unlike an electromagnet that can be turned on and off, the MRI scanners are always on. There are many people that could respond to an emergency in the MRI department, all of whom need to be aware of the dangers associated with entering this unique area. The MRI scan room should never be entered without the approval of MRI personnel. Objects on emergency responders will be attracted to the scanner and become projectiles if they are ferromagnetic. Serious injury or death could occur. Entering the MRI scan room with a pacemaker, aneurysm clips, or other implanted electrical devices could cause serious injury or even death. Metal in the eyes from grinding or shaving metal has the potential to move and cause injury and even blindness. Let's take a look at some of the equipment that could possibly be brought in by emergency responders. Most of this equipment is designed to fight a fire or assist security and police officers. Most of it is made of ferrous metal that will become a projectile if brought into the MRI scan room. What you will see here is a plastic bottle filled with 10 paper clips. It is pulled into the MRI scanner and quickly accelerates to over 60 miles an hour. If this were a pair of scissors or another sharp metallic object, it would easily impale anyone in its path. Here are two examples of ferromagnetic objects that were brought into the MRI scan room. The patient bed, seen on the left, weighs approximately 500 pounds and is pulled completely off the ground. The steel oxygen tank, which weighs about 10 pounds, is pulled with a force of 1,500 times its weight. That's 15,000 pounds of force. 
much like getting hit by a 2,000 pound car at 30 miles an hour. When you, as an emergency responder, are needed in our area, we realize that you are there to help. It is our job to make sure that you can assist in a safe manner. The force of the magnet is always present and will attract all ferromagnetic objects to it. So before entering the MRI control room, everyone must be screened for non-compatible implants, aneurysm clips, pacemakers, breast tissue expanders, neurostimulators. This is done to protect the individual from the magnet interacting on various implanted devices. Non-compatible implants and ferrous aneurysm clips can move in the brain and cause hemorrhage. Pacemakers can malfunction and neurostimulators can cause unwanted stimulation. Before entering the MRI scan room, verify with MRI personnel that it is acceptable to enter. All loose objects should be removed, all pockets checked, hearing aids removed, and a physical check for any missed objects on your person. Loose objects that are ferromagnetic will be pulled from your person. If they are attached to you and large enough, they will pull you with them. In the case of an emergency, the magnet can be run down. This is called a quench. Quenching the scanner will disable and possibly destroy the MRI unit. Quenching the magnet will release the helium in the system. This causes the magnetic field to run down very rapidly. The scan room would then be safe to enter with ferromagnetic tools and emergency equipment. This process may take up to a full minute before the magnetic field drops down to a safe level. A quench of the magnet should only be initiated if a person is pinned to the magnet by a ferrous object that cannot be removed by a single person, or if there is a fire in the magnet room and emergency responders need to enter that room. The emergency quench procedure is done by pressing the emergency rundown button. On GE scanners, simply lift the plastic cover and press the red button. On other systems, such as Philips and Siemens, the yellow symbol is also used to indicate the emergency magnet rundown. To begin the emergency magnet rundown procedure, turn on the room vent if it is present. Prop the door open in the event that the cryogen gas escapes into the room. If there is a patient in the MRI scan room, evacuate them along with all others from the area and secure the room. Make sure that no ferrous metal is brought into the MRI scan room before the magnet is quenched as it can become a deadly projectile. Lift the plastic cover on the emergency magnet rundown and press the red button. Gas should escape through the vent. It will be very noisy. The magnetic field will begin to dissipate in as soon as 30 seconds, but will take anywhere from one to two minutes to completely lose its magnetic field. In the event of an emergency in the MRI space, it is paramount that responders pause and observe the aforementioned procedures. Every MRI safety incident could have been prevented if MRI safe practices were observed. Safety is everyone's responsibility in this unique and sometimes dangerous environment.